Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Adha Daruna Education, the English Council. And yeah, 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 it's Friday, but it's the last Friday of 2023. I'm feeling sad also. Okay, 2023 is over. So 2023, 2024, please be good. Right. Okay, I hope you had a great year and uh, uh, planning to start 2024 with a lot of energy yes so we are summarizing everything we did in the year 2023 and um, up to date we have summarized and revised how many weeks 30 weeks yes so today we have week 31 i'm going to show you what i covered because in week 31 it was a viewers week and it was very special because the 11th week 21st week now the 31st week we had viewers weeks where we address questions sent by you because we always treasure your comments and whenever like um, the team uh, posts a video on youtube i usually go and check the comments right underneath the video so thank you very much for all the love you share and the comments you give us and especially the queries or the questions you send us because um, this is what is needed. I mean, I'm really glad that you're using the platform to learn and improve yourself. And the ones who are watching us on TV, I know that we cannot like talk to each other, but of course you can go to our YouTube if you want. Like send us a message, send us a message on WhatsApp, uh, TikTok, FB, and YouTube, and we will definitely get back to you if you have a question. So yes, the Weavers Week, we dedicated this for our viewers and we were talking about many things. You can have a look at those, like I will do it part part because uh, we have a lot of things to like share today. So we uh, started the week with wishing people because this was a question sent by a university undergraduate, if I'm not mistaken. So how to wish people at certain instances. So I picked seven contexts and was talking i was talking about how to wish them in those contexts so the first one was at wedding so how can we wish a couple at a wedding uh, so you can say i wish you an amazing married life together i wish you an amazing married life together or like in most of the instances you say congratulations 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 how people say congrats Congrats, the shortened form of congratulations. Congratulations, I wish you a happy married life. Congratulations, you too. Like, uh, may, you have a, uh, may you have a healthy life together. May you have a great life together. May you have an amazing life together. I wish you all the very best. And then we had a lot of other ways of wishing them, uh, wishing the couple, right? And at parties, you can always, after a party, you use this context to practice English. Practice some English with your friends. Hmm. I had so much fun, Machang. I had so much fun, Machang. Thank you very much for inviting me. Oh, Machang, let's say I'm a boy and I say Machang. Hurry, okay, let's go. Oh, Machang, thank you very much for inviting me. I had so much fun. It was amazing. It was amazing. I had so much fun. I had so much fun. So when I was talking about I had so much fun, I was talking about the word funny as well. Right, and then when someone gets good results, you'd say, Congratulations, well deserved. It's a beautiful way of saying, Well deserved. Congratulations, well deserved win. Well deserved, well deserved. Because you know that this person put in a lot of effort to get these results. And you say, congratulations, well deserved, well deserved. Okay, then we had a graduation. How to wish someone on a graduation day? You will just say congratulations. It's not, it's okay, it's perfectly all right. I told you congratulations is a word that you can use in many contexts when you are wishing people, right, for achievement. So you can say happy graduation day, happy graduation day. And uh, if a person look at the screen, if a person gets a new job, you can say congratulations and best of luck. 
Congratulations and best of luck. Congratulations on your new job and best of luck. And we were talking about starting a new business. Now, I'm showing only one way of wishing someone. I'm showing only one way. There were like uh, five or six ways for each one. When I was talking about five or six other ways of wishing someone at this, uh, at this, uh, uh, during these moments, right? So please check the lesson. And then announcement of pregnancy. I mean, my come in the Announce You can, of course, say congratulations. You can say so happy for you. Congratulations. So happy for you. But again, Hari Santos says so happy for you. And then when that person delivers the baby, you can say when the new baby arrives, you can say best wishes to the proud parents. Of course, you can send this as a message. Let's say. And you see a post on FB saying that feeling this couple, let's say, okay, this couple um, feeling blessed at this hospital. So underneath you wish them, right? So you can say congratulations, um, best wishes to this proud parents. Best wishes to the proud parents. Best wishes to the proud parents. Congratulations to the Hatagila de Akian. Mara Hamathis Makina Magapi, English, Ganagan, Nakila Kiani. My Kagani lazy, the Ganagan English. English, Ganagan, Nakila Kiani, Kang, then up here. Munahari, a big FB, a Kabentaka, Dana, good enough, a pretty English, Ganagan, the Pulua. Message a Kakakakota, the English, Ganagan, the Pulua. Instagram make a post a caption a Kakakadana, good enough, a pretty English, Ganagan, the Pulua. Right? In the Mihema was Tavak Mapavichikan and Inkinagana, the Dugulu Mataka Titino. Right, okay. And then we were talking about articles. Now, this is a topic that many, one, many get confused with using articles. What are articles? A uh, and the. Koma the and the use Karanikela. So I started with countable and uncountable nouns. And then I was telling you how to use a uh, and and. It was a very detailed lesson. Right? It was a very detailed lesson. So go back to week 31 and watch it. Uh, so um, uh, and coma the use and then today I'm, I'll just show you this popular picture on from the, from the internet. I got it from free English materials for you.com because they have lovely images to teach you things. So it's a mind map kind of when to use the kienika tiene picture ka ketore make man ekin eka pennwa when there is only one in the world the internet the moon mena me wage so i was talking about everything to refer to the only one in this area the government the police the river the city center and with adjectives which refers to whole group of people the poor the french the elderly the rich e wage eka mon hari lo rataka area eka mon hari eka e group ekak kiyala kiyan and then yes let's give them the screen on screen only Names of geographical areas like the Alps, the Arctic, uh, the Nile, Ekiani, um, Kandu Gatat, Kandu Panti Vidirati and Kandu, uh, Ganga Valgatat, Ara Apikiani branches, the Enamai Gangataha, Me Eva Gekinakota, the River Mahavali, Vidurguna, the Pavichikan, Puluang, A, Kumateva, a big grammar pat the Katakara. And then Animaring with musical instruments, I am playing guitar, and I am playing the guitar. And then with decades, the 70s, the 90s, I love the songs in the 70s, the 80s. Um, I'm born in the, I, I was born in the 90s. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, not 90s. Me, I was born in the 80s. We use the, and then we had superlatives. Let's give them the screen, only the screen. Superlatives, the first, the best, the strongest, the tallest. Countries that have plural names like Philippines, Netherlands, Maldives, Vage, Arapika, plural, Kitahitaga, and Naspula, Canada, Kipak, Islands, Arikatuela, Hadana, Ratakeka, the Pavichikaranama. In like the countries or places where the name refers to a group of islands or states, right? The UK, the United States, the United Arab Emirates, the Middle East, Evage, Rattaval, Kipak, Katuela, Hadana, Ratak, Pranta, Kipak, Katuela, Hadana, Ratak, Apius, Karanama, the and for ordinal numbers, the first, the second, the third. Ah, Panti, she's the first. She's the second. Eh, Makila ki anna api paavichikarana. Minna the paavichikarana ten. 
ඊළඟට මම ඩීටේල් කරාද පාවිච්චි නොකරන තැනුත් so you can watch this lesson on youtube other than education the english council uh, phase 2 ekey balanna pula week 31 was this a uh, and the use karana use karanne nathi ewa and then uh, again there was another question mami takala penna gana yanama itara ayogolunta but exercises ut kara a and the when countable uncountable eka daanne kohomada the daanne natte ai me hama dem in detail katha kara right relative pronouns and clauses kenath katha kala mokada me relative meka den tika lokui wage yogolanta penawane monada mataka da relative pronouns kiyanne monada kela monada dannada oya api okay let's give them the screen who whom which who's that dala connect karala liyanne a e kohoma dane ai ehema liyanne monada eka liyanda ai e monada me who whom which patalenawane o wage question ekak කන්නේ මම හිතන්නේ තුන් හතර දෙනෙක් මම අපිට ක්වෙස්චන් එක වෙලා තිබුණා. ඒ ක්වෙස්චන් එක ගැන අපි ඩීටේල් ලෙසන් එකක් කරා. නොට වෙරි ඇඩ්වාන්ස් ලෙසන් බට් සම් ඔෆ් ද බේසික්ස් දැට් යු නීඩ් ටු නෝ වෙන් ඉට් කම්ස් ටු රිලේටිව් ප්‍රෝනවුන්ස් ඇන්ඩ් රිලේටිව් ක්ලෝසස්. සෝ ලෙට්ස් ටොක් අබවුට් ඉට් අෆ්ටර් ද බ්‍රේක්. Welcome after the break and you are joining Adha Dharana Education, the English Council Phase 2. Let's break again, let's break again. Let's break again. We are going to talk about the last time. We are going to talk about the last time. Yes, I am talking about week number 31. You know that I am revising and summarizing everything we did during the year 2023. So, I am doing a putt-putt lesson. I love the word putt-putt. Because putt-putt is the awesome drama that we have to do. Charitayak, right? So, putt-putt. I've been like I've loved that character. I love that word also. Okay, right. So who, whom, which, who's that? Dala liye na relative pronouns. Dala liye na clauses. Well, tapi kina relative clauses kela. Me detail lesson ekhe mana dhanna tapi kare. So I was talking about what a relative pronoun is. So what does this relative pronoun do? Kine ne kaga na khata kara. So who usually refers to a person. whom refers to again person but the object again samane whom kiyana ekena podak english wali yanawa den tika tika right which refers to an animal or thing what refers to a non living thing so meva detail api katha kara that again person animal thing who's possessive for people animal usually who's kiyala kiyanne aitiyak gena katha karana karala api connect karana okata eka dala right So I was talking about yes let's give them the screen the sentence with a relative clause can mean me with it let's say i tell the lady called you so i took the example of now the husband comes home the wife is now at the door her wife is like annoyed and wife tells the husband ha huh, the lady called you the lady called you or that lady called you munat kiyanne to kena ara gaanu kena katha kala oyata etukota then wife tara gile inne දැන් හස්බන් ඩොක් පිටි කරවා කවුද වට කතා කරපො ලෑඩි දැන් මෙයා හරි පිළිවෙලට දීලා නෑ නේ ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් ඔන්න ඔය වගේ පිළිවෙලට ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් දෙන්න ඕනේ නම් නිකම්ම ගෑනු කෙනා කතා කරා කියලානේ මේ කියන්නේ ලුක් ඇට ද ස්ක්‍රීන් යු විල් ටෙල් දට් ලෑඩි හු වස් ඉන් යෝ ඔෆිස් කෝල්ඩ් යු මොන ලෑඩිද ගේ අර ගෙදර ඉන්න නෙමෙයි ගේ ඔෆිස් එකේ හිටපු ලෑඩි වට කතා කරා හ්ම් Then husband clear. Ah, okay. Our lady. Hari then me one lady. The our office ke hita pule. Right. So this is what a relative pronoun does. It will give you information, more information about a subject, an object of a sentence. It adds. Now it's as a clause you have it. Okay, ne? Me mukakari. වාක්‍ය කණ්ඩයක් විදිහට තමයි මේක වාක්‍යට ඇඩ් වෙන්නේ. නිකන් වචනයක් විතරක් නෙමෙයි. වාක්‍ය කණ්ඩයක් විදිහට ඇඩ් වෙලා එක්ස්ට්‍රා ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් දෙනවා. මොකක් හරි ඕගොල්ලෝ කතා කරන පුද්ගලයා, සත්වයා, දේ ගැන. right? okay. so we were talking about relative clauses, defining relative clauses, non defining relative clauses. ඒ කියන්නේ defining වල who or what we are speaking about. defining කියන්නේ ඒක තිබුණා නැත්නම් පොඩ්ඩක් hari and next sentence okay to show you some examples look at the screen non defining kela can it just gives us more information about who or we what we are talking about just gives us more information ikane 
It's not compulsory to have a non-defining clause, non-defining relative clause. It's not compulsory. It's not mandatory to have non-defining relative clause. But for a defining uh, relative clause, it's it's necessary. Necessary. It's really like it's mandatory for a defining relative clause to stand in a sentence. Otherwise, you won't get the meaning. So, for example, I was talking about this in detail. You have this picture. Look at the screen. So, can you see this girl? See this girl, right? Okay. So, if I tell something like this, that girl is my cousin. Me come monkey, na. Then me girl, me me him ra uncle la penna na. Then him na. Man, you come here na. Me him na api khati good. Ah, khati na chana chini na monkey na manga vi ne alu ata. Here Malshani, that girl is my cousin. Me come monkey na. Ati ke Malshani udhi bima palna. Girl, I'm good at keeping money. Which girl? Kila hai hita noni. Look at the screen. Which girl? Onna then metan de tamai defining clause ka kono ni. Ka tibune na tang malshani danne mang ka aga na de kata karane kela. So you say the girl. Now I'm changing the sentence. The girl who is wearing orange. Tambili en tang inna ga anula mea. Is my cousin. Here you see. Now you have a defining relative clause. It can be made. Relative clause are connected to bad. That's why Alshani would have been babala. Now you don't give the correct information to the person who's listening to you without this different defining relative clause. इतरे में वाके का अंतरोगान न पुलवा में ना अपने में के examples टिका करा. हरे ये लांगे तो non defining relative clause की है ना क्योंकि ना तभी में इतने कम खाता करा. Look at the screen. So non defining relative clause अवेल इका केवल बाला ना. Sampath's mother. Okay, you have already described the person. Sampath's mother, then Dhanna already Sampath ke amma ke la Dhanna has three grandchildren. Who lives in Gaul has three grandchildren. Now you have two things to describe this particular person. One is Sampath's mother. Who Sampath's mother? Hey, mumu the monkey mumu the na Sampath ke amma, right? It's not like mandatory to someone say for someone to say. Sampath's mother, who lives in Gaul, kila. Because who lives in Gaul, ki ene ka extra information. Hari, ito the Sampath's mother has three grandchildren, ki ene ka already a very. It's a complete sentence. It's not confusing at all. Chipatle nani Sampath ki amma hari yoke Sampath ki amma. Sampath ki amma ar galle ene ona ka wedi puru ki ano ne arer ni kam tere ne kine Sampath. एक आम्मा ही नहीं ने ये वाके थिए ना आने दे मेरे आम्मा कि ये ने कम आता मने मेरे मामा किया ने वो संपत ये आम्मा की वो टे पास से हाय वैडी पूरी इनफॉरमेशन देने का आनी वाले ने है राइट ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी हैड अ प्रोनाउंसिएशन चैलेंज वी वे वी हैड श्री माल इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन आप इटे आप इटे आ um, some common words we see, and because this was upon request again, um, because one of you wanted us to do a pronunciation lesson on like common words we mispronounce. Uh, so, uh, as pronunciation matters in spoken English, we were talking about some words. So, I'm showing you some of the words we had during this pronunciation challenge. So, uh, it was with Srimal, and we had a person, and he, we were like having it. Like it was a discussion type uh, program. So, uh, what is this? Mahito, mahito. So we like many of us. We don't pronounce it correctly. So it should be mahito. It's not mojito. Jaikak ne. I've even heard chefs, popular chefs, pronouncing this word as mojito. No j. It's mojito, mojito, mojito. No j. And then we have this word where you get it in cafes. It's not um, espresso. It is espresso. Espresso. So it was really interesting this pronunciation challenge. You can go and watch this program. Uh, we had two or three programs with Shreemal. So he like nicely uh, got engaged, and he was like doing the activity, uh, like uh, learning the words here in the studio. So it was really. It was really interesting. Just uh, watch it if you have missed it. You can watch it on YouTube. Uh, other than education, the English Council phase two. Watch it. This is week thirty-one. Espresso, and then we had this word. It's not cappuccino again. It 
Appetitene, it's cappuccino. Cappuccino, cappuccino, and then we had words like this, batch and badge, of course. When I was teaching the pronunciation mistake, I even taught uh, the uh, meaning as well, why it differs, like why badge differs from batch, what's the difference. So, it was not only pronunciation, but also the differences as well. We uh, took some pairs and we were discussing and then ball versus bowl, ball, bowl, bowl and ball. Ball of soup kiyanne is bowl of soup, bowl of soup, bowl liquor, soup, bowl liquor. Dana bajani tap kene bowl. And then graduate and graduate. Nik again a man nitra nitra man kiyanne nitra nitra vachane ya kene ka hondai itakuta roll water yana mat vedi. So, graduate is the upadidharia, upadidharia and the graduating kela kiyanne, gradu I am graduating kela kiyanne, upadidharia ganna va kiyanne ekka. And then we had very common words like very uh, common words that we mispronounce. Hari dukha hai thing are koda common nuna me wapi hari to mispronounce karna vachana. I am going to challenge you to do this. I am going to do this. I am going to do this. No problem, you can pronounce it. I am going to do this. I am going to do this. I am going to pronounce it. Sri Lankan accent is a different thing. I mean, I am not blaming Sri Lankan accent. I mean, it is perfect. It is a nice accent we have. We open our mouth, we accent it. No problem. But of course, when you are talking English, it is a different accent because with the rhythm, uh, English has, it's not the same way we speak English, right? It's not the same way. So, if you are like exposed to other cultures and if you have lived in other countries, you may have, you, you may have felt it, right? It's, it has a rhythm, English. So, Sri Lankan, uh, Sinhalese, we don't have that rhythm. Nisa. So, that's a different thing. And also the accent, Api pronounce can be the Samahara Sadh. Ape hodi in a English alphabet, and a phonetic alphabet, a saddati and alphabet, a pit and a hair, any sapodi put a question in a tanti and a monkey and a meg and a name. Mama can not talking about accent reduction, it's about mispronunciation. You know, where did you pronounce it? The meva gave watch on again a company, organization, a piece of hundred organization, kina, a career mukad, the carrier mukad. Eva gave a katakra and architect, architecture. Api karana common pronunciation mistakes kana katakara. So, yes, it is me. Tamai ape week 31 viewers week kaka gila balana pulang other than education, English council phase 2. Eke balala. Egeting and a pulua and I would have missed on a phase 3. Egeting and a kali. So, yes, so we are ending the year 2023 with this lesson. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in 2024, that is Monday. So, yes, I wish you a very happy new year, uh, actually a prosperous new year, a year filled with happiness, joy and uh, all the good things in life. Uh, so, I'll see you on Monday and in 2024. Bye-bye.